I look like the plug. I get it. <laughs> and you've probably already hurt me by the time you find out who I actually am. Right. See, because of that clarity you just provided... Yes. ...is the reason why I want to know. I think the world want to know what happened between you and Alisa D. I know you said the you world talk couldn't about possibly it. want to know that. Know, He's man. not we famous want... enough for the world to want to know that. Uh, at least because my side of the world doesn't want to know that. See, well, my side of the world. Here's, here's the thing. What happened, man? A lot of times, what liars do first is they set up a narrative and a scenario. Like Michael Blackson just got on national TV and told people, yeah, I got a beef with Cat Williams and Cat is mad at me about this and because I said this and I didn't even mean it like that. And the whole time, he's never talked to me. That's how he feels. He's heard I'm angry. I've not had a conversation with him. It's the same with your Ali Sadiq. If it wasn't for the information that I know in my intel, I would be a fan of his like everybody else. Who wouldn't be a fan of a young black storyteller that's done time and loves his family and is a hometown guy? Like, who, why would he ever have any enemies in comedy? It's ludicrous. But if you pick the actual king, then make sure that your story's correct. And unfortunately, his story's not correct. No matter what he says, he never met me. He made it disrespectful that a security guard that was six foot seven reached over him to pay him, not, uh, not mentioning the fact that he got paid for not doing anything. Well, let's start, let's start at the beginning of the Reliant thing. Uh, I don't start, know if I'm going to we'll start, ahead. and then you can do what you want to do. Fair enough. But I think for, for the sake of the audience knowing we're just Tell having who an Ali idea Sadiq of what we're talking first. about, I.D. Sadiq is a comedian from Houston that's based based in Houston. A very uh, fine comedian. Very fine comedian. Yes. Now, Ali, Ali said that he went to a Reliant uh, uh, Arena to, and he was on the same show as you. He showed up, and they dis uh, the uh, security stopped him from entering the building. Got and it. He, and, they said, and then somebody told him, Cat didn't want you to come in. And then at some point, somebody else came and gave him a check. That's the, another sec a security person reached over somebody's shoulder and gave him a check. He said that the, the people that were the working security locked arms to prevent him from walking inside of the building. And he thought that, you know, you had a problem with him. And he said he didn't know why you had a problem with him. And to this day, he don't know why you have a problem with him. That's what he, that was the... the yeah. It'd be nice if that was the story. So now, if that's the story, then let me see if I got this correct. A guy I've never met was supposed to be doing a show with me. And I got so angry, even though I hadn't met him, that I had security keep him out of the building. See, that's the problem with lies. They're, they're faulty from their inception, sir. I'm the person in the story that doesn't have a grudge to feel. I don't care why I didn't like Cat Williams. I would get to the bottom of it. This is not one of those stories. First of all, the actual truth of this matter is every city that I go to, I already have the comedians who are opening up for me. Not just this tour, but for the 17 100 city tours previous to this. I never go to the city and go, hey, do you guys have some comics here? I'd like to add them to my show. I just don't do it. I travel with the comedians um, that are coming to your city. We're one unit and one team when we come. That is to let you understand that no comic was fin to come join us that evening because there isn't space for it. I still have to do an hour at the end of this. There's a limited amount of time. So we could just start there. Second of all, I don't care where you're from, what the venue is, how cool you are with the people that work there. 
Cat Williams show means Cat Williams show. That means don't nothing move but the money. 